Hi folks, one for you. Uh, snow scene. Uh, this is uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound hot pressed. I got this by mistake as you probably remember. Um, but anyway, I've got about two, another two packs of it. So I'm going to use it. I want to do a snow scene again. Seems to be all of age at the moment because we we're a long way from snow in London, but we're certainly cold and miserable. We'll shower today, heavy showers. All right, okay. Now I'm going to put a bit of a bit of a um, bit of sort of bit of bit of red near the horizon. This all dries much lighter. Uh, right now, I'm going to use some Payne's Grey for the uh, touch of blue. Now you'll see that that's very easy. Uh, but remember this dries a lot lighter so let's get some nice heavy stuff over the top here okay that'll do so how long did that take a few seconds 20 30 seconds it's as easy as that it's the fiddling and fussing around that we do that uh, makes it all go wrong just do it and leave it just reclip it i've wet the paper all over before I put the first wash on. Now you'll see it's perfectly flat, you don't need to stretch this paper. Just reclip it, that's, a, that's more than enough. And I'm going, oops, sorry, I'm going to dry this now when I've untwisted the uh, wire. Right, okay. Headphones off, mute your sound, fast forward. Go. So what we've got there is a nice snow cloud. See how much lighter it's dried? And then I put it on. I'm going to use my small hake and I'm going to put a bit of a background in there. Uh, that's a bit of blue and with that's grey. Go up the hill. Bit of blue, bit of uh, bit of grey, bit of yellow. So we'll have a nice bit of background over which I can superimpose some pines. Oh, let's get some darker bits in there. Now you can lift out a bit with this. Uh, let's, now I'm going to put in a bit of darker. Bit of a creek going through there. Right, while we're at it, let's just put in a bit of, bit of
Well, that's okay. Get some uh, lifting out now. Probably a bit too wet for that. I'm going to, going to dry it off again and then I'm going to just start detailing it, detailing this background. Okay, give them a large hike and we'll start putting in some uh, some background pines and things, just a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of water on the brush. Not over elaborating these. I've got my radio going on the BBC iPlayer and there's a whole series, several series on BBC4 they're there for a few more days of the development of American country music which I absolutely love my tool sort of music Now in this we can uh, clean the brush, can put in some brighter bits, bits of burnt sienna. Well, a bit of Just some warmer touches, all just adds a little bit to the uh, painting. Now, rigor. Where's my rigor gone? Here it is. Uh, I'll let that dry, but I want to just show some detail. Nice dark here, that's a
the danger of putting in uh, bits of similarity. Look, it's just two same. So you've got to be careful of that. But I'm just just dotting the the brush about. Just. Don't want to do too much of this, is it? but just enough so that we can, the light coming from the left, we can put in some shadows when we get around to it. Just bits and pieces. Right, I'm going to dry that, so take your hands off. I might even use a bit of gouache, white gouache in the uh, trees just to show some, just some, because I've lost the scrapings out, so I'll we'll try and remember that. Okay, let's get some Payne's Grey, a bit of blue, plenty of water, and I'm not going to overdo these. Oh, just a little bit of detail here. Right, now I'll put in a little bit of dry brush on the tops of these. I'll use my take most of the moisture off of the brush. There's a bit of blue in there, I think. I think I overdid that. God, it's quarter to twelve already.
Right, a bit of a, get my little uh, mop, my tiny little mop. I would put some reflections through there, but uh, right, a uh, right, bit, bit of palette grey. Do you know what I mean? You just do them in the sort of direction. Just all adds to that impression. Right, the furnish are very light. Okay, that's uh, got a bit of that darker bluey grey. Oh, let's just put a bit of that dark in there. Bit of mystery. So the river sort of the stream's just coming out of there. Uh, I think that's gone a little bit so uh, awry there. Cool, there's only bristles left in my brush here. Well, I've had it for some years. I can't think much more to do there, could maybe... Alright, I'm not going to do any more to that. I'll uh, put a bit of tape on it. This is good practice for me, I, I you know, rarely do them so once a year. But I, I, I do find that this year I've uh, have done some in the, in the summer or in the autumn. Uh, they're lovely to do if they come off, they come off. Uh, they don't all, but you see more or less everything I paint. So. Right, okay, well, I've, that's as good as that's going to get. Thanks for looking in, guys, and I'll uh, see you soon. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.